Vitamins for the liver and kidneys. The liver is the largest gland in the human body and the sole internal organ that has the ability to regenerate itself. Its key functions include secretion of bile, storing vitamins, clotting blood and destroying bacteria. The liver also acts as a detoxification agent by disposing of toxic substances through the kidneys and bowels. The kidneys maintain water balance in the body, assist with chemical balance and remove waste products. There are a number of vitamins essential for effective functioning of the liver and kidneys. Vitamin B6. According to the University of Maryland Medical Center, vitamin B6 is essential for a healthy liver and kidneys. Vitamin B6 is a water-soluble vitamin that plays a key role in converting carbohydrates into energy and removing toxins from the body. Healthy sources of vitamin B6 include turnips, broccoli, fish, eggs, milk and cheese. Vitamin B6 also assists in maintaining a healthy immune system, metabolism of proteins and reducing kidney stone occurrence. Vitamin D. Vitamin D is a fat-soluble vitamin which is crucial for absorption of calcium and for healthy immune function. The Colorado State University website states that dietary calcium is not absorbed efficiently in the absence of vitamin D. People who suffer from liver disease may benefit from vitamin D which is also essential for efficient kidney function. It is believed to slow down the progression of chronic liver disease as well, according to the U.S. National Library of Medicine. Important food sources of vitamin D include dark, dark leafy vegetables, milk, fish oils, eggs and fortified cereals. Vitamin C. Vitamin C is a water-soluble vitamin that protects the liver by stimulating the production of detoxifying enzymes and helps with the absorption of iron. It also aids in preventing and dissolving kidney stones. Vitamin C intake with B-complex vitamins can assist in lessening liver disorders like cirrhosis and hepatitis. Major sources include citrus fruits like oranges and grapefruit as well as kiwi, pineapple, broccoli and red pepper. Vitamin E. Vitamin E is a fat-soluble vitamin which prevents vitamin A and essential fatty acids from being oxidized in the cells. As an antioxidant, it assists the liver with the process of detoxification and in breaking down fats. According to a study by the UC. Irvine College of Medicine, high doses of vitamin E may play a key role in reducing blood pressure, especially in patients with kidney disease. Another study by the University of Essex Department of Biological and Chemical Sciences indicates that dietary supplementation with vitamin E may cut down oxidative stress thereby slowing the progression of kidney disease. Healthy sources of vitamin E are nuts, broccoli and spinach. What vitamin supplements are good for the gallbladder? When it comes to supplements for gallbladder health, vitamin C is one of the most frequently mentioned in research studies. It may be beneficial for limiting your risk for gallbladder disease, gallstones and cancer of the gallbladder. You shouldn't take large doses of vitamin C without first consulting your doctor, however, because it isn't safe for everyone. Gallstone Prevention Gallstones are a very common gastrointestinal complaint in Western populations, with about 80% of stones containing cholesterol, according to a review article published in Alternative Medicine Review in 2009. An increase in vitamin C intake may help reduce the risk of gallstones, as can a diet higher in calcium and fiber and lower in fat and refined carbohydrates, noted a review article published in the Nigerian Journal of Surgery in 2013. Vitamin C helps increase the breakdown of cholesterol, limiting the risk that it will build up and contribute to the formation of gallstones, reported a study published in BMC Gastroenterology in 2009. Gallbladder Disease The University of Maryland Medical Center notes that the antioxidant and immune support functions of vitamin C may be beneficial for people with gallbladder disease. Other beneficial dietary changes include avoiding alcohol and trans fats, eating more fiber and antioxidant-rich foods, limiting your intake of red meat and eating more foods rich in iron and B vitamins. You should also avoid highly processed foods, such as sugar, white pasta and white bread. Gallbladder Cancer 
In a study published in the European Journal of Cancer Prevention in September 2013, researchers found that consuming more vitamin C was helpful for preventing gallbladder cancer. Not all studies have noted the same beneficial effect, however. A study published in the Journal of Surgical Oncology in September 2003 found that vitamin C didn't have a significant effect on gallbladder cancer risk, but it did find a potential association between low levels of vitamin E, selenium and zinc with gallbladder cancer. Vitamin C Intake Women should consume at least 75 mg of vitamin C per day, and men need at least 90 mg daily. If you smoke, add another 35 mg per day to your vitamin C requirements. You can easily meet these needs by eating at least 5 servings of fruits and vegetables each day, according to the Office of Dietary Supplements. Particularly good sources of vitamin C include citrus fruits, bell peppers, kiwi fruit, broccoli, strawberries, tomato, cauliflower, cantaloupe, cabbage and Brussels sprouts. If you're considering vitamin C supplements, check with your doctor to determine the appropriate amount of vitamin C for you. Too much vitamin C can cause nausea, diarrhea and abdominal cramps and may increase your risk for kidney problems. Vitamin C can also interact with certain satins and chemotherapy medications. Kidneys and B12. Vitamin B12 is a large molecule involved in many bodily processes, such as blood cell production and nervous system function. Your kidneys are involved in absorbing B12 and other vitamins, which prevents them from escaping via urination. Diseased and malfunctioning kidneys absorb poorly and contribute to vitamin deficiencies. Some forms of synthetic B12 are safer than others for people with chronic kidney problems. Functions and Recommended Amounts Vitamin B12 is needed by your body to synthesize DNA and RNA, produce red blood cells, conduct electrical nerve messages, stimulate metabolism and regulate brain function, especially short-term memory. The recommended daily values of B12 for adults range from 2.4 to 2.8 micrograms, depending on pregnancy and breastfeeding. Unlike most other B vitamins, which are secreted within days, B12 normally is stored in the body for many months or years, and not much B12 is needed on a regular basis. Some conditions, however, such as pernicious anemia, result in poor B12 absorption by the body. Kidney Absorption and Storage Your kidneys are responsible for filtering many nutrients out of the blood and lymph, including vitamin B12 and other B vitamins, such as folate. In addition to vitamin conservation, tubular uptake by the kidneys is important for vitamin metabolism, storage and homeostasis. According to a study published in a 2006 edition of the medical journal, Renal Physiology. For people with chronic kidney failure or acute kidney injuries, higher levels of vitamins and other nutrients typically are excreted in urine. Elevated levels of homocysteine in the blood indicate too little B12 in your body. Homocysteine damages blood vessels and is linked to cardiovascular disease. Potential toxicity. The natural form of B12 that's in animal-based food is called cobalamin, which is virtually non-toxic and not associated with any serious side effects. However, synthetic versions of B12 are potentially toxic in large doses and can trigger allergic reactions. The most common B12 supplement on the market is cyanobalamin, which forms cyanide, a neurotoxin as a byproduct. Such small amounts of cyanide don't pose much of a threat to people with healthy livers and kidneys. But for those with dysfunctional organs, the risk is amplified. Diseased kidneys cannot detoxify cyanide into thiocyanate, which is harmless and easily excreted. Suggestions People with chronic kidney disease have a higher risk of B12 deficiency, so supplementation may be warranted. However, cyanobalamin poses a slightly higher risk for kidney patients, so other forms such as methylcobalamin, hydroxocobalamin or adenosylcobalamin may be safer options. Therapeutic doses of B12 by injection range between 500 and 1000 micrograms. If you take oral supplements, place the tablet under your tongue for better absorption. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe to my channel.